So hello everyone. In this video, we'll be understanding how we can create our custom player, a custom video player basically, in React.js. So for testing purposes, I have uh, used this. I'm using this video, and I have included this video with the help of video tag in HTML or basically in React.js. So we have this uh, video tag, and we can provide width or height and the controls that we know from HTML, right? and inside that we have a source tag in which we can provide src attribute in which i have provided the video i have from the assets folder by importing it and then i can provide the type of the video which is video slash mp4 so that is fine right uh, you know uh, that by with the help of this thing we can implement or we can create a simple video player but this video player depends on the basically uh, the browser so if your browser if is Firefox, so it will take the different uh, video player, like the controls will be different. And we have different players for different browsers, right? So how can we customize this player? Sometimes we need to customize that. So how can we do that? It is very simple. First of all, let me just show you that this video. So this is working fine. Now for implementing an own video player you can simply search for react player npm so this will be the package that will be used that is very widely used and we can use it for creating our custom player and it uh, provides a lot of features to us so you can install this uh, player with the help of this npm i react player command and you can see that uh, it is a widely used or the popular player that we are using in react so many people use it and how can how we can use it is very simple we just need to import react player from the package we, ha we have installed so you can simply install it and then you can use the component which is provided by this package react player and you can provide the url that you want to use and then that should work fine so the thing here that we need to notice is that react player automatically takes up the uh, like uh, like supported player you can say so if we provide any youtube link so it will automatically grab the youtube player so if you provide a facebook video link so it will automatically try to take the uh, player from uh, like facebook similarly if you provide it from anywhere it will give you the same thing like the same player which is available there for demonstrating that i can show you this demo page that is available here so you can see we have this option created they have created this player by using react player so it is basically a demo and all these options are there that we can use in here so let's say if i uh, try to use a youtube player so if i click on this test a so if i click on this light mode it is basically provide provide me uh, like this thumbnail kind of thing that we can provide our own thumbnail picture as well so you can see we have this youtube player youtube logo is there you can see that so this is a youtube player right similarly we also have a soundcloud uh, player as well soundcloud is also uh, one application that we use that we use we have vimeo player right so if i click on that let me just show you the most popular one the daily motion so basically we have different uh, we have different if i click on controls basically the controls are not available right now if i click on this check checkbox so control will also be available right so you can see this is a daily motion video player we have the same option which we find in the daily motion video player we can move ahead and uh, backward so all these options are provided with the help of react player so it is automatically taking up uh, the different player with uh, according to its url right so this is basically how you can implement different players if i click on this vista vistia so that will take up the different player for us you can see that okay we have different player similarly we have test b that if you want to here at wistia we think good thing. similarly you can you got my point right so you have different options that you can basically include 
so for mp4 files for running webm files all these options are there and we have all these players are there facebook video player is also there so this is basically the case uh, you can use this player for implementing uh, different kinds of player and you can also add options different options so we'll be uh, like seeing that as well so we have this prop or this uh, option that we can use which is url in which you can provide uh, the video url that that can be any array or media stream object you can use that and you can provide is it playing or not like it is just like uh, if you want to start the video or not automatically it is kind of auto play so i'm using the uh, normal video player right so let's switch to react player so why am i using it because we have different a lot of customization as well in this react player so i can import this react player and i can simply use it let me just comment this first and i'll be using that react player here now inside the url inside this url i can provide the video i can also provide the width and the height i can provide the height oh height should be 500 and the width should be 750 if i do this and if i go to my browser I you can see we have this different option right I can also provide another prop which is controls to show the controls that whether this is working or not so I can provide the controls in my code like in here I can provide controls true and I think I have given a, a lot of width here I can decrease the width also the height let's say if i refresh it so we have this player and this is the default player right so that default player is working but we also want to basically uh, provide additional features in, in this uh, like this was already working right uh, but uh, the width and height is not working I think let me just see that as well so we can provide it in the pixel we just leave, we, I was just providing it in numbers so I can provide it in 750 pixel and oh sorry so which should be 750 pixel and this one should be 500 pixel so that should work and that should give the height properly if I go to my react app you can see we have this player so nothing is changed right but we can provide additional information to this as well like we have a lot of options here which we don't see normal players like we, you can provide any additional inline style as well you can provide any uh, the most important one I can I can show you that you can provide the play icon or the light mode let me show you the light mode you can just provide light equals to true what will it do that basically when we refresh so it it just blanks right we can create a play link or play option there play icons option on which if we click so the video will be started so if I click on that or if I just use that option you can see we have this option right now so if I click on this play icon now it will work so now it will play basically the video so that is the thing and similarly you can uh, use a lot of options here and uh, the thing that I wanted to tell you that uh, we 
for like for adding video, uh, video from YouTube we just need to find the like workaround right so we can simply copy the link it's going to be a reply we can copy the link and simply paste it in the URL no need to use any iframe or anything we can just directly use this in here so we can use our custom videos as well as our uh, normal URL from anywhere like if it is supported right so that might work yeah you can see uh, it is taking up the YouTube player link right so it is very simple to implement and is simply you can use any other like uh, uh, applications or any other websites uh, video link and then you can paste it here inside the react player URL option then that will work similarly you can also provide any thumbnail as well so default thumbnail you can provide for that I think uh, we should have some options uh, so you can try out all these options I will not be guiding you all these options right so you can uh, read these things and you can simply implement that and that should work right uh, you can see we have there is a single config prop to override settings to each type of layer so you can uh, conf like change the configuration for each type of player if we have the YouTube player so so you can change this player wares and show info you can make it one or anything that you, that you want to use Facebook app ID or anything that you want to uh, customize that you can use what does what does it do you can uh, read it here that uh, by changing this you are changing the default player vari variable and option you can change that so all these options can be changed right so we have this right so we have these options simply you can use it if you want So you can go to their links as well, like your own player, add custom player, and anything that you want to create. So for creating custom players, it is a very great package you can use. So I hope you got something in this video, and this was a great video. You can implement all these options which are available. You can simply use it, and I have shown you uh, some overview over that. Like you can use any. Uh, applications uh, player if you want to use and as well as you can customize your uh, like own video player as well so for that you can use this react player package thank you for watching let's meet in the next video